Greetings and welcome to this course where we learn much about broiler nutrition. Well, broiler chicken farming is one of the most preferred agribusiness entity in terms of poultry farming and mostly for urban farmers. This is because it will take you a shorter period from inception to disposal of the birds to the market. Broiler can be very profitable well if you control the costs of production and if you check on mortality. And how do you control the costs of production? You will understand that the major cost of production actually is feeds. Feeds contributes up to 82% of the total cost of production in broiler farming. And therefore, it is important for you to understand how you can cut costs in terms of feed or feeding the birds. And you can only cut the costs by formulating your own feeds. One thing to note is that the cost of feeds has always been on an increasing trajectory, whereas the quantity of feed has always been on a decreasing trajectory. What do I say by saying so? I mean, in the past few years, let's say five years, the cost of uh, 70 kilos broiler mash averagely has been about $20. But today, the cost of a 50 kilo broiler feed is about 35 US dollars. The funny thing about it is, as much as the cost keeps increasing and the quantity reducing, the quality also keeps reducing. So by you formulating your own feeds, you will reduce on the cost and increase on the quality. Okay? Why is it so? Or what makes it that cheap? When you formulate your own feeds, you can be able to control the quality of the raw materials and as well, you don't incur a cost of marketing, a cost of packaging, and even a cost of transportation. That is the beauty about formulating your own feeds. During feed formulation, we have got three types of chicken feed. And the first one is mash, and we have got pellets and crumbs. So I'm assuming that you want to formulate your own feeds and the cheapest option or the easiest option would be mash. Because mash, you just need to get the raw materials and mix them and your feed is done. But for you to get pellets, you need to get the mash first. Then you'll introduce some water or some moisture to make it paste-like. Then it will be pressed in a pellet machine and then put to dry. Then you can get pellets. After you get the pellets, which are gotten under high pressure, they are simply broken down. Or crumbs are the byproducts of pellets. And mostly, we feed mash to layers, which are mature chicken and at grower stage. And even chicks at the early stages. For broiler chicken feed, we can use mash or pellets and even crumbs. Although, most farmers would prefer to use pellets and crumbs because of the higher and quick digestion and absorption of the same. But because you're formulating our own feeds, until you buy a pellet machine, that's when you can be able to achieve pellets and crumbs. What are the sources of raw materials? Note that all the feed making raw materials are byproducts of certain final products or end products being manufactured. For example, wheat bran and wheat pollard. These are achieved in milling companies. When they are milling flour for use of making uh, duff and all that, they dehusk the seed, the wheat grain. When they dehusk it, we get that cover or that shell as bran. Then they remove the jam so that when they grind the flour, it has a longer life shell. That jam that is removed and crushed is the one that we get now as the jam. Or when crushed into a fine powder, we get it as a pollard. When we want to get sunflower cake or cotton cake, all these are, ach are achieved or gotten from companies that are processing oil. When they press the seed, 
to get the oil, then that remaining byproduct is what we use for making our feed. For example, soybean. Soybean is also, that's why we insist that the soybean has to be cooked or roasted. Companies that manufacture flour for porridge, or even flour for making confectionery, or even cakes, will use soybean, but then the byproduct that is gotten from that is what we use to make chicken feed. Therefore, it is only the micro ingredients like the lysine, zinc, tritophan, methionine, and all that that are attained or gotten from factories that will manufacture them purposely for that use. But the remaining ingredients will be manufactured or will be achieved as byproducts of the whole ingredients. So, what feeds are required to feed broilers and in what stages do you require these feeds? When you want to formulate broiler feeds, you break it into two. Broiler chicken will feed on broiler starter mash, that is from week one up to week three, and feed on broiler finisher from week three up to week six, or week four up to week six.